I'm at the home of Horace Walpole, Strawberry Hill House in Twickenham, the London borough of Richmond upon Thames. If you're looking for a house, the architecture of which is absolutely outrageous, making a statement, this is the place to come. I have with me the OM5 camera with the 12 to 45 Pro lens. I'm using nothing else. I've got the handhold as tripods are not allowed inside the house. I'm going to keep the ISO on 200. So we'll see how we do with the help, of course, of the image stabilizer in the camera. I'm often asked how I manage to take pictures in stately homes and churches without people. It's quite simple. You come in as soon as the property opens. I've done that. I've also had lunch. So now, suitably refreshed, I shall go around the house for a second time. It's amazing to discover what you missed on the first journey. So I'm going to go and have another look now. The day was cloudy. Not so good for exterior shots, but perfect for interiors. This reduces the dynamic range, and although it makes balancing exposure easier, there is still a huge difference between light from the windows and a dark interior not affected by direct sunlight, even with the semi-transparent window blinds drawn down. This shot might look okay, but I have done much work in post-production with Adobe Lightroom. Now here is a JPEG copy of the RAW file out of camera, therefore with no corrections. I will now show the Lightroom settings. It will probably send shockwaves amongst some of you, but it has one overriding advantage. It works. You can probably do what is about to follow in HDR, but I feel that I have more control this way. Therefore, provided we start together and finish together, then to hell with what goes on in the middle. I spot meter essential for controlling exposure, which ESP does not provide and centre-weighted only partially. I ignore the other variations, as I want to be in complete command. That becomes the creative element in what I do, and it takes practice. I would take an extreme scenario where the odds are stacked against the photographer. The problem Yes, it's that window. It is in risk of burning out completely beyond correction if the interior is given more exposure. So I spot metered close to, but not on, the window. I then whacked the exposure up, but the overexposed window and highlights can still be tamed by taking highlights and whites right down. Some photographers at this point prefer to isolate highlights by masking them, but I don't find it necessary as the rest of the image is largely, but not completely, untouched. I then took the exposure back down just a tad before increasing blacks and shadows, which has to be done prudently as noise could be added. This is a fine adjustment that avoids making the window bright. I beef up the colours a bit by increasing clarity and vibrance, finding saturation too artificial, so I don't touch it. I play around with the noise filter. It does help, but I have yet to try the new denoise facility that has recently been introduced into Lightroom. Finally, I crop away picture frame on the right and window left. They are not required and are products of careless composition. I should have seen them. Here is the final photo or creation. Inside stately homes and churches, I shoot on program. That might surprise you, but it's not to be confused with auto. By default, it will resort to the widest aperture to assist hand-holding, and you can still add your personal settings, such as 
exposure compensation and white balance, the latter not necessary, of course, if saving to raw. I shoot 4 times 3 ratio, and then crop to 16 times 9 for the YouTube preferred format, so I think about that when having to take just the one image, which is often necessary if other people and photographers are within range. At times, you are almost resorting to snapping. No time for photo niceties or correctness here. Here now are a few images using the techniques discussed. If you are interested in visiting Strawberry Hill House for yourself, it is in Twickenham at 268 Watergrave Road TW1 4ST. It is open Sunday to Wednesday, and I can thoroughly recommend the cafe. <laughs>